Hey everybody, it's Jason here from Mac and Tech, and what I wanted to do was show you some of the new features and changes that were made to Wirecast. The newest version that they released was Wirecast 4.0. And uh, as you can see here, this is pretty much the default layout when you first install Wirecast 4 or Wirecast 4 Pro. And I'm just going to point out some of the changes here. Uh, in the Windows version up at the top, you can see that it has Broadcast, Record, Preview, and Inspector. In the old version on Windows, it didn't have that. Other notable changes is around this area here. You now have the ability to add a camera directly, like if you wanted to add the... Microsoft Live Camera, just select it and it would come in and there it is. That would be me right there. And over to the right you have um, other things like you can do some edits here right into the shot and add it. Add audio file disk. You can do um, what you want if you want to take the shot and add things like um, effects and you can see uh, not effects, but uh, shot layouts here. And that's me right there. Right on the fly without actually opening the edit shot, which is kind of cool. Full screen view, slide by slide. Now, in the actual shot, if I go into the shot, you now have the ability to add multiple sources. And I believe you can have up to seven. Yep, that's seven different sources. Before, you, you could only select so many. Um, up to, I think it was three sources, um, and then with foreground, background, you could do up to uh, three, four, five sources. But now you have the ability to put up to seven sources, lay them out wherever you want on the screen, and things like that. Just pretty good. Also up here, there's a few things in the menu that's changed. For instance, before when you wanted to set the aspect ratio of your broadcast area, which is right here, you had to go into the preference. Now it's right in the file menu, aspect ratio. You can select what you want right on the fly right there, which is um, pretty good. There's 480p. Uh, other things you have up here in the menu bar is you had you have show source settings. This is new to Wirecast 4.0. It allows you to bring up the source settings right there and you can do things like changes. There's my back camera. There's a ceiling camera. And you can do things like uh, change your capture device size. Basically, um, if you want a lower lower quality and stuff and then device the interlacing usually you'd use that for DB cameras things like that you also have the option to add pipelines scoreboards and IP cameras now these are features that are available in Wirecast Pro I'm just gonna give you a little look here with scoreboards if you have Wirecast Pro you can actually set what you want for scoreboards and um, put them anywhere on the screen you can customize the look of it you can also put in uh, fields up to four. So if you wanted to have a bunch of fields with their names, keep track of scores, put in names, you can change the look, the background, things like that. And then when you have that, what you can do is in your shot, I'm going to put my shot in here, and I'm going to add Quick Hand Pro 5000 here. I'm just going to reset the position. And then I'm going to go, if I wanted to add the scoreboards, um, you add, add new scoreboard, add untitled scoreboard. I can actually label the scoreboard if I want. I can take this, drag it down so the scoreboard will be on front. <clears throat> and what I can do with that is I can move it where I want on the screen. And then when I go live here, it will show up where I positioned it right there this is my preview so basically you have your score and if you wanted to control the scoreboard what you can do is go back into show source setting and in fact you can actually rename the scoreboard so my scoreboard whatever and as you're broadcasting you just make the changes right there and as you can see in the the actual broadcast, it's actually changing right on the fly. 
Anything you change in the scoreboard settings here will change right on the fly. Like if I decide to take something out, which is actually pretty good. I really like uh, the new features that they have in Wirecast 4, especially in Wirecast Pro. Other things they have in Wirecast Pro is the ability for um, virtual sets. So if I want to do a virtual set, I can go over to this little template chooser, which is right here. Okay, so I'm going to create a new shot here. Add new video shot. Or, no, that's not it. Add, I'm going to do scoreboard here. I'm going to, I'm going to remove that. Go up to template here, and then you can select, you have template for, this is basically some of the older stuff that you had. But over up here, beside templates, you have virtual sets. And then what you can do in there is you can pick the virtual set you want. Let's say I wanted the, this virtual set right there. So basically you would just set for placeholder A would be the camera that you would be in sitting at a desk or whatever. And B would be right here what you want to play on this virtual screen per se. And then this checkerboard area would be whatever your background thing is. And uh, that's in uh, that would be up in layer panel which I'll get there in a second and in fact you can actually select things to go behind it if you don't want to use the master's layer panel now with a set like this you can do things like set it that it can zoom in and in fact if you were to do let's say we have this set and then you want to have it zoom in in a live broadcast like they do in the news or whatever you just set it like that and then uh, we're just gonna you have here's your set here and then when you go to select the next one that zoomed up it will automatically zoom in that's actually pretty cool good animation and stuff now there's other things you can do here with this virtual set remember there's a couple of other virtual sets that you can choose from um, but in this particular one you can set the decor which means you can actually you can basically you can add whatever you want to the set basically from your sources here and you just pr pretty much move it down what's in front of it and things like that but with this you can this virtual set you can move the decor around and whatever you put in if it's a PNG or whatever you can put whatever you want in and you just move it around on the screen where you'd like it you can do the same with uh, the desk as well as where the person's gonna be you can move the entire background if you want as well as the placeholder so that's actually some pretty cool stuff. Virtual sets, that's available in the Pro version. Now, if you do use the layer panel layout here by going to layout, layer panel, before you had title, foreground, normal, background, and audio, they actually have it now. Telestream has made it that you're able to rename whatever layer you want. So if you wanted like uh, just titles in your title layer and you wanted to name it that, and um, you can do that. And uh, let's just delete that for a second. Let's go to titles here. Make a banner. You can make a banner. Where do we want to go here? We want to put the text in. There's your text. And basically, it would show up while you have things like this in your other layer, which could be standard layers or whatever whatever you want to name it. So that's some pretty cool stuff there. Uh, you also have the option to do an external display out, which means you can, if you have a secondary screen like I do, it'll actually um, put that on that screen. So then let's say if you have a TV out or something like that, or you just want a monitoring screen in full screen, to uh, see all your shots you can do that so all this would show up on an external monitor you also have the use of being able to use new flash based encoders basically you have the H.264 encoder and you have the VP6 option so it gives you, gives you some more flexibility and things like that so that's just some of the many new features and changes that are in Wirecast 4.0 and the new Wirecast 4 Pro. 
if you have any new features that you come across. Something else I'll show you is there's the inspector, the audio inspector, which was a feature that I was glad they put in. You can basically control whatever inputs you have, whether you had the your camera or DV camera, you can have it so it mutes, it would all show up in the list here. And then you can just basically have it set if you just want to use your mixer as your central point of sound, which I do, and everything else, your webcams or DV cams, all those mics and that would be muted. So you just point, pull it right from your input from your mixer, something like that, anything like that. So you got some more flexibility, and this is in the pro version. So I would recommend getting Wirecast if you haven't already done so, if you can fit it in your budget and, and you want to do things like um, being able to have lower thirds, multiple cameras and things like that. If you want to get into more virtual sets, uh, IP-based cameras and scoreboards, things if you have uh, sports events, I would suggest getting Wirecast Pro because it has those bells and whistles built in. And yeah, if you find any other features that I haven't came across yet, why don't you leave a video response and uh, show us what you've come across in Wirecast Pro or what your thoughts are. If you like our videos, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Macintech. You can also check out Wirecast at telestream.net forward slash Wirecast. Hope you enjoyed this video of some of the features in a new Wirecast 4. I'm Jason and we'll chat at you later.